The crossing of the return threshold is the moment in the hero's journey where he re-enters the ordinary world. And for the returning hero to complete his adventure, he must survive its impact. After being called upon by his rescuers, Clark is in a state of disorientation, not completely aware of who or where he is. It is at this point where Clark must decide if he will refuse the call of return like King Muchakunda, or find his center and return to the world. The threshold of return is no joke. It is very often more difficult than the, the quest. Here you were following your allure of the unknown. You're going back to something that you had left behind. until finally we get to the threshold again, back to the light world, and you're out. Back in the light world, the ultimate task of the hero is to deliver the boon which was gained from the dark. In the case of Clark, to deliver a self-assured version of himself. To be that ideal of hope who finally knows his place in the world and that the world recognizes as that beacon through his sacrifice. It is through this delivery we are finally able to understand a key component of myth that the two worlds are actually one. Master of the two worlds is the point in the journey when the hero is able to pass between the inner and outer world without having to compromise the principles of either. In our hero's persona system, there's no longer a dichotomy between Clark Kent and Kal-El, between the man and the Superman. I knew I'd found something when I started writing The Hero. It's been a, a large, large experience because that's what I was hoping for when I was writing. Namely, that I was giving people the key to the realm of the muses, which is where myth is. The seat of the soul is there where the inner and the outer worlds meet. The outer world is what you get in scholarship. The inner world is your response to it. And it's where these come together that we have the mythos. The outer world changes with historical time. The inner world is the world of anthropos. It is the world constant to the human race. And so you have throughout the mythological systems a constant. You always have the sense of recognizing something and what you're recognizing is your own inward life and at the same time the inflection through history he has freedom to be the hero the ideal of hope but also to live amongst us as one of us as he stated in his moment of self-annihilation this is my world and he now has the freedom to live in it and to save it for the realm of the gods is merely a forgotten dimension of the world we know, and the exploration of that dimension is the whole essence of the deed of the hero. The whole sense of the master of two worlds is perfectly encapsulated by the 8th century Hindu philosopher Adi Shankara. Sometimes a fool, sometimes a sage, Sometimes possessed of regal splendor, sometimes wandering, sometimes as motionless as a python, sometimes wearing a benignant expression, sometimes honored, sometimes insulted, sometimes unknown. Thus lives the man of realization, ever happy with supreme bliss. 
just as an actor is always a man, whether he puts on the costume of his role or lays it aside, so is the perfect knower of the imperishable, always the imperishable, and nothing else. <laughs>